Thanks for joining us. A major wake up call about what's in the water we drink every day. For the first time, microplastics are showing up in our Great Lakes, contaminating everything from tap water to beer to salt. Carol Evans Lou Ragoose has our top story. When choosing a brand of beer to drink, you probably don't consider the water used to brew it. You see them more. U of M researcher Mary Kasuth found microplastics in every beer she tested that uses water from the Great Lakes. That includes three beers brewed in Duluth. We wanted to compare the water, the source water, with the, the beer to see if there was any correlation between that. Kasuth also um, found microplastics in Duluth tap water, which comes from Lake Superior too. <laughs> It was part of a big study recently published in a scientific journal looking into contamination of tiny plastic fibers that come from synthetic fabric in our clothes that we wash and plastics we use and throw away that end up in our water that we end up drinking. As far as the, the science goes, I don't think we have a level yet of plastic that's safe to consume. The health effects are still unknown, which is why people like Trevor Russell are trying to spread awareness. It's a below the radar issue. As water program director for the Friends of the Mississippi River, he warns what continued microplastic contamination could mean. We won't be able to eat fish out of this river. Uh, we may not be able to fish out of this river in the same way that we do today. Kasuth hopes her study leads to more research on the biggest sources of microplastics and exactly how big of a potential health hazard we're facing. Lou Raguse, Care 11 News. Well, our experts say fleece jackets are likely one of the biggest sources of microplastics in Minnesota. They encourage everyone to take account of the amount of plastic you use, everything from grocery bags to straws.